Honestly, I I can't believe your mother is trying to get you another girl. After what happened with the last one she got for you. <laughs> In her dreams. I mean, who does that? Except for Professor Gloria who thinks this one is tough. Honestly, this is totally unacceptable. I mean, why would she think you're that? Maybe it's because you're very cool-headed. That's why she feels she can toss you around like a petulant child. Someone is knocking. Let me get the door. Hey, hey, look. It's my parents. I'm not here. I've been going through a lot in my life. Wishing to find a peace. I've been going through a lot in my life. Hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Vincent, how are you? I'm very fine, thank you. David did not uh, come back to the house yesterday. Oh, why? He left in anger and then uh, he didn't return. Ah, yes. Why did he leave, sir? Did you come here? Uh, no, I, I have not seen him since yesterday. Um, he's not here. Okay, um, you should see him. Tell him to come back home, okay? Okay, sir, no problem. Thank you. What do I call this? Huh? Where am I going to look for him now? Where do I look for him now? Leave it left home. I drove out since yesterday night. I'll even be at the back. Benson was the last person on my mind. But he's not there. He's not in his house. Could he be in any of the hotels? So I have a hotel cover in search. Most times I wonder. More what? Are you sure that Professor Gloria is your biological mother? I don't have asked myself that question. But I've not had the chance to confront Dr. Alexander and his wife and ask them who my real parents are. Well, um, I think there's an ounce of truth there. Because why would a mother who carried a child for nine months torture him this much? You know, the same thing again to wonder. That way to just get to the house and confront them and get at them. Uh, what orphanage home did they pick me from? No, did they adopt me from rather? Well, if you ask me, I don't think Professor Gloria is a biological mother. There's something really off about this. Because I see no reason why you would recommend to kill the creature to me. Mm -hmm. Where has he come to? Hmm? How can he just disappear into thin air just like that? How? Oh.
，快了快了，叫我忙，看我干啥？就就就是你，那你别，那你别。I want you to think after you chase my son away from my house. How? I don't understand where that is coming from. Like seriously, you are asking me how, Gloria? We are not in this house. You are asking to leave the house. You chase him away by not allowing him to have his way. Really? You want me to hold my hand? And watch my only son get entangled with the daughter of a nobody. Hell no! He marries my choice. Oh no, girl. And who you is that your choice? Really? Where is that your choice? Why can't you be reasonable for once? Why are you actively rational, professor? Gloria, how can you walk out of this? I will tell you that I am the man for this house. David is missing. What? What? Who's David? The David you know. Information has it that he drove out of his house two nights ago and is nowhere to be found. Dr. Alexander, his father, has been searching everywhere and ought to know avail. Hey, what kind of news is this? Oh my god. Dad. Yes, Sir. When did you have a nephew house two days ago? I think it's nowhere to be found. Sir. I was reliably informed. That Dr. Alex wants to go to police to report him missing. That's serious? Yes. Well, as far as I'm concerned, he's not missing. He drove out of the house himself. So, where exactly? My dear, that is a big question. Something must have prompted that. Yes. Oh my God. I just put it on the half of I think you should call him then. Call him to show him that you care. Just call him to show him how much you love him. I think it's time for you to win back your man. Oh, you think so? Yes, my dear. I don't think it's necessary. Yes, David has moved on with his life. And I suggest Rachel to be sent. And, uh, I really want you to drop this habit of drinking and uh, minizing. I don't even know where you took that from. She took it from you. Mm -hmm. She took her by you. I think you have gone, you have gone nuts for saying such. You think we don't know? Mm -hmm. You think we don't know what you politicians do? We know. What is your problem, woman? What is wrong with you? Uh, why do you like accusing me of cheating? That is because you are a cheat! You will soon leave this house, woman. <laughs> Very funny. Me, leave this house. I go nowhere. I go nowhere. If anybody was me this house, how should be you? <laughs> Very soon we'll know who the man of the house is. <laughs> Nobody is driving your position with you. You are the man of the house. But man of. Man of. Number is not going through, so it's switched off. Wait, have you 
you sure that young man is okay wherever he goes? Oh, 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 that's my worry. I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know where he might be right now. Oh my god. Oh, Don't try again. Don't oh. try again. Okay. Oh. Fine. He, he will come back. He will be fine. Yes, he's fine. Wherever he is, I'm very sure he's fine. Oh, are you sure? I'm sure everyone has been calling to ascertain your whereabouts. Yes? I'm always in there for my phone on silent. Well, I think you're taking this to another level. I'm always in there to put my phone on silent. Well, I think you're taking this to another level, Dave. Look, Benson, I know what I'm doing. I would not allow my mother to my life for me. It doesn't work that way. Huh. Well, I agree with you. Because I really don't understand why she would stop a full grown man like him from having a say in his father's house. Well, I'm sure you will win. <laughs> of course I will win. Huh. The only thing is, I've tried to call Emma. Emma is not picking up my calls. She's not saying anything to me. I don't know why she would call a pretty girl like that a thing. That is a very derogatory way to address someone. Look, if I lose Emma, I'm just going to end it all. End it all? Like kill yourself? Is that the only way I can get to my mom? No, no, no. You're going too far, bro. I won't agree to that. I can't go where I'm not celebrated. Your mom is a no. I should make marriage miserable for me. Hey, mom. Okay, you know what? Just, just calm down. I will do something about it. Please, just give me some time. You know your mom. I invited me over. Please, Emma, Emma, just, just sleep, okay, just sleep, I promise you, I will do something about it, okay, I just don't want to lose you now, please. I, I can't do this, I can't, really. Emma, Emma, if you say you love me, as you claim, why don't you just stay and fight this cause to me, please? How long do I intend to fight? I don't even have strength to fight, let alone fighting my supposed mother-in-law. I want out. Emma, 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 look at me, please. I'm deeply sorry. I, I, would, I will fix this. Just allow me to talk to my mother for something. Just give me some time. Emma, my world revolves around you. And, oh, please, I love you. I found peace in you, I found joy in you, oh, oh, oh. oh, I never expected it to happen this way, but it gave me reasons to smile again, oh, what a feeling, anytime I close my eyes, it's you that I see. Letting you go is not an option Please will you be with me forever Oh my baby Emma sent a text message. Emma sent a text message. What did she say? What, 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 what did she say? Tell me now, read it out. What did she say? I think you have to see this yourself. She's getting 
word. And I'm as shocked as you are. My mother pushed out of this. No. I am so sensitive to your pain. I want you to pick up the pieces of your life and move forward. There's a brighter future and you will find love again. Please. I know it's not easy but you just have to try. And this phase of your life will pass. Where is my son, Gloria? Oh, please, can you let me be? I am asking you for the octave time. Where is David? The same way you do not know his whereabouts. It is the same way I may fall worried about him. But you were the reason he left. That I asked that thing. He brought into the sitting room to come sit on my couch out of my house. Does not give David this, the edge, to leave this house to only God knows where. So get it. Gloria, your excesses are becoming unbearable in this house. I mean, how could you call your fellow human being a thing? Does that make you a good Christian? Huh? I'm asking you, CW or Chelady. Talk to me. My son will not marry an identity. A classless girl from a classless family. It will not happen. So, this is what it's all about. Class. Of course, yes. We know who we are and what we represent. Get that. Of this charity organization is not cut out for me. Okay, Professor. You've just drawn my attention to a pertinent issue. Now tell me, who was your next father before he died? <laughs> no, answer me. Who was Okafo, your next father, while he was alive? A poor primary school teacher. That is who he was. Oh. Professor Mrs. Gloria Obianichu. You have suddenly gone down. Uh, are you walking away? <coughs> no, come back or let us trash this class thing out once and for all. Don't go! Perhaps you will have a change of mind and go look for my son. Your father was poor. I brought you to where you are today. I don't know why poor people, people from poor families, you always like to pride yourself. Buga, when you're nothing. Without me, who, who are you? I've been going through a lot in my life Wishing to find a peace I've been going through a lot in my life Hoping to meet the right person Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions for who I want to be with? Love is about the hurt and not about the material things. So, oh, love is from the hurt and not about the classic lovers. Can I go for who I want? Cause that's where my head belongs. Can I test the true feelings? Cause that's the place for myself. I've been going through a lot in my life. Good. Gloria, why did you run? Huh? So you ran into this room to hide your face in shape, Alexander, what is it? 
What is it? Why are you following me about? Leave me alone. I wouldn't leave you alone. I will not. Huh? Am I following you? Look at you. Huh? A, a, a poor teacher's daughter that I gave my life. Why you talk about class? Huh? I gave you life. It's a lie. I had a life before I met you. Liar. Which life? I married you from a very poor home. Very, very poor. I brought you up. Now, you are in a class that you can buga. Because of that, you don't want the poor to break. Why? Huh? What did you do for me that no other man has done for his wife or no other person? Good question. I picked you from the slum and brought you to glass. Alright? So what is your problem? Why, why are you like this? Why are you uptight to the extent that you want our son dead? We are not even sure if our son has killed himself by now. What is your problem? Come on. I'm sorry for everything. You'll be sorry for yourself when you start asking my question. What question are you talking about? This question. I will just go straight to the point. Who are you? Good. What? What is what? The same question I asked you. Tell us who is this? Biological parents are. Oh, oh, oh Dad, you, you think you think things so? I mean, with the kind of attitude she's putting up, I'm suspecting that we are not your biological parents. Alex, what are you even talking about? Why do I look like a child? Where is that coming from? You caused it. So fix it. So, I swear that my late father's good. You are your child. I bet at you. I can't give my mom to my home. That's you? Hi. Very close. Thank you. Uh-uh. How are you? I'm very fine. Hi, is that you? Oh, wow. See, beauty. Ah, <laughs> uh-uh. That's the way you wear this. Let's see this on me. I went for you, please. Please, Yes. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm so tired. That's why I put everything off. I'm tired. I feel like I'm breathing. <laughs> Long journey. Hi! Eh? Uh, how you come here? So, what did you see me? I know that side. Do that. Youth copper, na copper. Copper wee. Copper wee? Eh. Uh-uh. You know this outside? Eh. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> you said the Jimmy Steele is not fine. Oh! So, I get hope, Rabbi. Yeah, yeah. Hey! Yes, yeah, so she did for my girl. Yeah, yeah. Why? Let's go, man. Yeah. Uh, this one, I'll say, something good is back now. Like always, I tell you, nothing will come out. Nothing. Not only my clothes. I'm going to ever buy something. Yeah, it's money. I'm going to What's inside this bag? I need that Where's something good inside that bag? Ah. Next one. Books. You think this is Jamboree? You think I'm talking here, right? You think I'm talking here? Don't I pull my head off? Pull my prince! No, 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 don't pull that. Tell me, pull my prince, I'm now! Pull that thing away. You're going to hurt yourself. Put that gun away, please. I don't want anything to happen to you. But your son. You caused me so much pain. You sent Emma away. Now she has got into the hands of another man. A man that proposed to her just with today. Why did you cause me so much pain? I'm sorry, I'm not not deserving her forgiveness. But finally, you have to forgive me, and I have sinned against you. Forgive me. I should forgive you. Now you tell us, who are his parents? Alex, we are his parents. You're my mother. I am your mother. You're my mother. 
and yet you cost me so much pain. Do you know who that you sent away? You took up late to Anthony Ugotuko Kiki of Edo Motors. What? what? Do you want to find out? What? Hey, what is what? I didn't know. Your main is the daughter of AU Oboto CEO that you called classless? I am sorry, I didn't know. Ah, I don't know what you're doing. I'm sorry, I'm not ruining my life. I'm not taking away my happiness. Daddy! You're so. Daddy! Don't do it. Please, please, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I've been going through a lot in my life, wishing to find a place. I've been going through a lot in my life, hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Love is about the hurt and not about the material things. Oh, love is. Oh, God. I will not let you out of my sight, Emma. That is crazy, man. I am not Emma. My name is Ijoma. You are Emma. You are Emma, my girl. Look. I think he's going through emotional trauma because of the happenings of it. You're right. He will certainly come around. Mama, please, I need to be somewhere this afternoon. Sit, sit. Mm. Each of you. Please, I'm going to ask you for a favor. I beg you, Thank you, David, for your wife. Please. My can't with David for your wife. I, I need to be somewhere this afternoon. He's pressing my hand, he's pressing my hand though. Listen, just let me you go to where you want to go. But for now, stay with him. Please. Um, Ijo. Uh. Please. Help David touch you. Okay, I will uh, send for a colleague of mine uh, who is a specialist in that area to come and look at you. Yes. Well, I need my let me take you upstairs. Yes! Yeah. Yeah, just calm down. Let the car go. Let the car take you up. No, don't you not go in the sand again. Hold this one. Let's go. Let's go. Come. 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 Stand up, stand up. Stand up, oh. Stand up, oh. Don't worry, she she's coming. She's coming with us. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, this one, this one, I'll see that. Glory, have you seen what you've caused ourselves? Huh? Kudos to you for a job well done. I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. Alex, I'm very, very sorry. You are sorry for yourself. Dave? Dave, what, what's going on? Bro. Joma, Madam Stella's daughter. Hmm. I see. How, how long has it been like this? For a while now. Why? Don't know. His father said it's called trauma. Maybe from past experiences or something. I don't know. But he said he would come around. That's what the doctor, his father said. Why are you doing this to yourself? You're worried about another girl that's married to another man. Please, who is Emma? <sighs> Emma is his ex. And she's married to another man now. Mm -hmm. 
aku tunggu. I brought juice for you so that you will drink. Let me open this. Yeah? I brought juice for you, David. No. I don't want any juice. Don't you get it? Then why is what I want? What do we call this now? What is all this? How can Paul do this to her only son? If she had calmed down, all this would have happened and it would not have deteriorated to this level. I hope they are not going to tie my daughter down because of this boy. Hmm. But, do you know what? Well, I'm certain she will not allow it because of our class. The poor people, they are rich. So. That thing is still in her mind. She will never allow it. She will allow my daughter to go out there and look for a good job. To do, she just finish her youth service. Chai. God. Let me do that again. Do sweet. I'm going to ask for a man in marriage so that we live this kind of life. I've been going through a lot in my life. Wishing to find a peace. I've been going through a lot in my life. Hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Okay. Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Honestly, he's emotionally and psychologically traumatized. Yes, I know. Well, I advise you send him to a different environment. He needs some time alone. Some time to think, some time to meditate. You know he cannot travel now. He cannot go to the UK now. He just came back from London a few months ago. Yes, I understand that. But he doesn't have to go back to the UK. There's a lot of places he can visit. You never can tell. Maybe he might find love again and feel better. I call this for my son. I am responsible for everything that is happening now. At least I should have allowed him to introduce his guest. Maybe well, that is why I would have found out that Emma is the daughter of Chief Sir Anthony Ugochuku KK. I didn't allow him. Well, it's so unfortunate. And it is very wrong to judge a book by its cover. I mean, you are right. Yes. Yes, absolutely, yes. My name is Prince Benson. I'm the Crown Prince of Inuama Kingdom. What? Yes. Right. Well, that's why I said earlier that you don't judge a book by its cover. And you don't judge the content of a container by its container. I traveled all the way down to find true love. I really wanted that change of environment for myself. And that is why I was so happy when you found true love. But, Benson, no, Prince Benson, I don't think Emma loves my, my son that much. She doesn't love David that much. That was why she couldn't even give him to another. She ran off to get married another guy. Well, you never can tell. Hello? Hello, Emma. 
That's a very funny question. Don't tell me you don't know who's on the line. Please, who is this? Well, this is Benson. Okay, Benson. What is it? How are you and how is your husband? Well, we are fine. Thank you. Have you tried calling Dave to ascertain the state of his mind ever since you killed him? I beg your pardon. I didn't jinx David. His mother was acting all I and mine to I had to leave. Mm, yeah, his mother. You guys had a little misunderstanding and the next thing you run into another man and getting married to him without looking back? How could you do that to someone you loved? Am I that terrible? Why are you making me look like a bad person? His mother practically walked me out of the house and warned me not to come back. Well, David is in a very bad state now. He's locked up himself and he has refused to talk to anyone. But if anything happens to him, I will hold you responsible because he's gradually losing his mind. Please, 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 Benson. Allow me to marry my husband in peace. What is this? What kind of rubbish is this? Hello? Hello? She hung up on me? Women. He loved her very much, but she never loved him. She was just using him. He never satisfied him. I feel so sorry for him. The mother called me names. The last daughter of Chief Antonio Ugochiko KK. AU Motos. Names, a thing. Please, please. Fancy should allow me to marry my loving Kennedy in peace. Uh -uh. I'm enjoying Abuja, it's just busy disturbing me. If anything should happen to David, I should better hold that of appearing more than responsible. Like it. I prepared this for you. See, and this salad, when I was in school, we used to cut it short, 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 short. But I said, let me try it and cut it later, leave me outside. I cut it long, long ones for you. I know you will like it. I hope you're mad. Wow. Hey, hmm. I prepared this for you. Oh, so I don't want to see anymore. Who is that? Emma. Can she come around? Yes, just eat. eat. She came around, how come nobody told me? Ah! When, when she came, you were sleeping now, so I, I, I didn't want to wake you. You would have woken up so I can tell her how much I miss her. She promised to revisit. She getting married. How did you know? She told me. She told you? That's the most reason you have to let go. You are beginning to get everyone around you worried. You think I should? Yes. You let go. I am a woman. And I can tell you categorically that Emma or whatever her name is called, she did not. There was never a time she loved you. She was the only one who was in love in that relationship. No this and no peace. So if you would want my advice, I would want you to pick your life back. You have to stand up for yourself. I'm hot. Hot what? But the AC is on. I think I just need fresh air. Please can you take me outside? Oh, chill What about the food? To get cold. I've been going through a lot in my life, wishing to find a peace. I've been going through a lot in my life, hoping to meet the right person. Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Uh -huh. Don't know. What do you mean you don't know? A poor grown man like you, you don't know what you want. I want to see Emma. Where is Emma? You cannot see Emma. See how do you know? I want to see Emma. You can't see Emma. See how do you know? 
And even if you want to see her, me, I don't know who she is. Okay. You don't you don't know who Emma is? I don't know who she is. How come you told me she came to see me and I was sleeping? Did you come? You came out here to receive that chair. Please, let's just walk around. Don't go inside. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, please open the gate. I want to go and see Emma. Uh, excuse me. Respect your statement. You know you are not fully recovered. Go. Go back to your duty. Go and go and go. Go here. Why don't you want me to go and see Emma? Because Emma is in Abuja. She is happily married. She is married and she lives with her husband in Abuja. Her husband? Yes. Yes, that is the more reason you have to forget about Emma and think about yourself. You are doing yourself more harm than good. Emma is living her life, enjoying herself in Abuja, and here you are wasting your own life. You. And I did not mean wasting your life. I mean, I mean enjoying your life. Just wanna be happy. Oh yeah, yeah I've been going through a lot in my life Wishing to find the peace I've been going through a lot in my life Hoping to meet the right person Oh why can't I make this choice for myself Oh why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Oh, love is about the hurt and not about the material things. Oh, love is from the hurt and not about the classic lovers. Do you, do you like cartoon? Do you watch cartoon? Like, tell it to be. I want to show you something. Hope you don't mind. This is me <laughs> in my NIC orientation camp marching. You know how all these uh, uh, military people can be very mean with coppers. Stand here! Do this! When the governor comes, sometimes the still show is our uh, camp. They have to cheer for the governor. You know it, Abby. This <laughs> way I was marching. It's because of my hips. That's why I'm not marching well. Not like. Okay, let me remove this one. Like you don't like this one. Okay. See this one. Campus. And I was in campus. <laughs> this particular sleepers, I had it for three years. See, these three people now, with this cultural day in school, Igbo, Aousa, and Yoruba. <laughs> don't like my pictures, sorry. Do you have pictures in your phone? Yeah. I heard you are a trained doctor. A trained doctor behaving like this. Hey! How do you not treat your own patient? See, this is the more reason you have to pick the pieces of your life and stand up. This woman, she has no door to her life. You, you are keeping your life in one place and it's not good. Eh? Now you are a trained doctor. Doctors are the ones that treat patients. It's not patients that will treat doctors. Okay, now that I'm not... Such a handsome guy should go through all of this. 
Whatever is happening to that young man, his cost by his mother, his mother is a good cause for what is happening to me. My mother, if she had allowed these children to be, what is happening will not be happening now. Mama, I don't think, I think Emma did not love me in the first place. Who told you that? I had a discussion with you. Dave? David, what, what's going on? Bro. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Who are you? My name is Ijoma, Madam Stella's daughter. Hmm. I see. But how, how long has it been like this? For a while now. Why? I don't know, his father said it's called trauma. Maybe from past experiences or something, I don't know. But he said he would come around. That's what the doctor, his father said. Me. But why are you doing this to yourself? You're worried about another girl that's married to another man. Please, who is Emma? Emma is his ex. And she's married to another man now. Good to me. I brought juice for you so that you will drink. Let me open it. Yeah? I brought juice for you, David. Bro. I don't want any juice. Don't you get it? Emma is what I want. He's not getting anything, but he keeps calling Emma, 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 Emma. Emma. That girl. The day I left here, I called her. <laughs> and I was very surprised that she doesn't have my number saved on her phone. And I'm sure she doesn't even have David's number too. I thought you were moving. Oh, so I thought, I actually thought they loved each other, but it is obvious that David loved her more than she loved him. And that was why she immediately ran off to marry another man. Hmm. Hold up the corner. It's very embarrassing. I think that is... I think for this, it's the more reason David has to move on with his life as soon as possible. He has to forget about her. I agree with you. Um, but please, I want you to support him. He's, he really needs that emotional and mental support right now. And I understand that this is not your plan, or this was not your plan after your NYC. But please just help him. To think that Emma is married means she was seeing her husband and David at the same time. Yes, because her marriage was so sudden. It's obvious. I can read in between lines. My she point, was dating. My point exactly. I just feel for him. I feel so sorry for him. So how is he? He's sleeping. What? He's sleeping, Mama. Sleeping. That young man has not slept for days. He's sleeping. How did you do it? Just wanna be happy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been going through a lot in my life. Wishing to find a peace. I've been going through a lot in my life. Hoping to meet the right person Oh, why can't I make this choice for myself? Oh, why can't I make decisions of who I want to be with? Oh, love is about the hurt and not about the material things Oh, love is from the hurt and not about the classic lovers 
Do you do you like cartoon? Do you watch cartoon? Like tell it to be. I get it. Um, I want to show you something. Hope you don't mind. NIC orientation camp matching. You know how all these uh, uh, two people can be very mean with coppers. Stand here! Do this! When the governor comes, sometimes the social show is our uh, camp. They have to cheer for the governor. You know it, Abby. <laughs> this way I was matching. It's because of my hips. That's why I'm not matching well. Not like. Okay, let me remove this one. Like you don't like this one. Okay. See this one. Campus. And now I'm in campus. See this one. <laughs> this particular sleep I had it for three years. See, these three people now, with this cultural day in school, Ibo Aousa and Yoruba. <laughs> I don't like my pictures, sorry. Do you have pictures in your phone? Yeah. I heard you are a trained doctor. Yeah. Hey! Ah, a trained doctor behaving like this. Hey! How do you not treat your own patient? See, this is the more reason you have to pick the pieces of your life and stand up. This woman, she has moved on with her life. You, you are keeping your life in one place and it's not good. Eh? Now you are a trained doctor. Doctors are the ones that treat patients. It's not patients that will treat doctors. Okay, now that I'm not... Mama, I will not even know who to blame for his predicament. The mother or Emma. I feel so sorry for him, Mama. What he's going through could have happened to anybody. The news of Emma's marriage broke into a thousand pieces. He devastated that boy. This is what we call pure love. Even when he has found out that Emma is married to another man, he has refused to accept the glaring reality. But I still maintain that prophecy is the reason for what has happened to that boy. You're not far from the truth, Mama. Oh, Mama, you see these big men children, they don't take rubbish. They don't take nonsense. Patience, they like it. You see that day that prophet sorted her game, when she asked her to get out of the house. That was the day she started to accept the other man's proposal. You think so? I know so. Mama, I'm a girl. You see, Kennedy has been in the picture long before she even met David. Hmm. Girls. It's the truth. It's just that she was just trying to choose who is best for her. You understand? But mm -hmm. Prof had to help her make the decision. Because after her encounter with Prof, the poor girl decided to roll with the adulterer And she married one out of the other one. Uh -huh. Who won't do that? Mama, see, let me tell you. You see David, you see Emma. I don't think they were ever meant for each other. She was just between these two men. Kennedy and David. She was trying to choose who's best for her. And see, uh, uh, David now, the mother was misbehaving. Who wants to uh, 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 choose, choose the other person? Because who wants to enter fire? The way Prof is behaving, you know, she will be scared now. And after all, well, she will have love. She has somebody to choose from. If you like other guests now that not even see somebody to say hello to them, to talk of hi to them, eh, at least you will not start complaining. But then they have two suitors. Eh, they, are, they, are, they, are, they have the right to choose. Enjoy, Mama! Enjoy, Mama! Enjoy, Mama! Enjoy, Mama! Enjoy, Mama! Please sit. Yes, I did. I want us to talk. Sit down. So, 
I am Ijama. You are doing a great job with David. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, you're done with your NYSC? Yes, sir. I am thinking of uh, employing you to continue taking care of David. Before, so that I can fully come back to his feet. Mom, I, I don't want to. That's not the kind of job I want for myself. Oh, I was thinking a job is a job. What kind of job do you desire for yourself? Ma, as a young graduate, I want to go out to the streets and look for a good job, a good paying job, so I can liberate my family from poverty. You know, some children are opportunity today to be born with silver spoon. Why some are born into lack and hardship? I happen to be one of them. I know what it took my mother to train me in the university, and I still have younger ones. So I would want to have a good job so I can assist her in training them. I am, I am thinking of employing you, you know, instead of jumping under the scorching sun for a jump point, looking for where you'll be employed. I am thinking of gainfully employing you to continue taking care of David until he's fully back on his feet. I'm sorry, ma'am. With all due respect, ma'am. I don't want to, I want an office job. I don't want to be a man. Ah, uh, it's just... It's, it's not as if this is coming with nothing. I will pay you weekly. I'll pay you 50,000 naira. Every week until David is fully back on his feet. 50,000 naira weekly. Mm -hmm. That's what you'll be paying me, like weekly, not monthly. Yes, like weekly. Okay. Uh, that means 200,000 a month. Yes, a month, a month can come with five weeks. So it's 250. How did she call you? For a job opportunity. Be a nanny today. It will never happen. I did not send you to the university to graduate and then choose a job of a nanny. What is that? Money you don't ask how much is this money? I don't care. I do not care what it is. Did you accept? No. I feel like I want to work in the office. I do not want to work as a nanny. Good. Only one man should consider David first. Hey, John, mm. whatever is happening to that boy is our, our own business. She is the architect of her own misfortune. You should not put it on me. No! 50,000 is For what? You still are a weekly. That's what she will be paying me. Uh, even at that. Eh? Mama? Mm -hmm. 50,000 is weekly. Mm -hmm. That's 200,000 a month. It does, okay. Even less than 1 million. That's good. Mama's school fee. Hey, Jama. Hey, Jama. I am really impressed as your work as uh, David's nanny. Thank you so much. You're welcome, ma. Actually, I should be the one thanking you so much because I noticed he's doing well. Even though the, the work is happening, it's a heavy task, but you're doing it with all diligence. Thank you so much. You're welcome, ma. Uh, I have noticed something. I don't know how you did it, that David was able to forget Emma. Because I noticed for some time I have not been mentioning that name around here. Thank you so much for the way you are taking care of my son. Ma, it's God. It's God in heaven that did it, not me. Thank you. You're welcome. What is this? We agreed on the salary, right? Yes. And that is salary for the week, 50,000 there. Oh, but please, can you take it for one more moment? No. I'm sorry, ma, I don't, I don't need, no, I need the money, but I don't want it, ma. But you worked for it, you earned it. Yes, I know. It's your money. Yes, ma, but I have decided not to take anything from you. What? But please, just see it this way. What if David were to be my brother? 
Won't I take care of him? I will take care of him without demanding for anything. All I want is for David to get better, for him to get back on his feet. Then I will go out there and look for a good job. Honestly, I don't want, I don't know what to say. I, I am kind of speechless. But please don't be. You've been very kind to my mother. She has been with you for years. You are your husband. You two have been taking good care of her, paying her her salary. David is like a brother to me. This is the least I can do for him. If she thinks it, it's okay. Possessive behavior that caused him the trauma. Now you are laughing. Honey, but I've said I am sorry already. Is it not enough? Is it not enough? You're sorry. I'm not on my face. Okay, I, I hope you'll learn from it. Honey, once David bounces back on his feet now, he is free to love any girl of his choice, whether from a rich background. Whether from a poor background, in fact, from any tribe, even the lowest of tribe, I don't care. I don't mind. Let me just be happy. Are you serious right now? Ah, serious. Very serious. Ah. So, <laughs> how about Dad? Uh, uh, Dad, I want to step out and see someone. Are you sure you'll be fine? I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. See you soon. Okay. Wow. Honey? Hmm. Do you notice know something? What? David did not talk to me. He didn't even behave as if he noticed anybody like me yet. Are you expecting any response from me?
What? Well, yes, now. My love not good at guessing. What is it? Okay. David stepped out of the house. Which David? The one you know, also the person in the house. David. Yes. How come? I don't know. Hey, hey. That young man is in a perfect condition. Yes. Mom. David drove out of the house. Yes. Mom, are you sure he's fit enough to drive out? Perfectly okay. You need to see the surprise on his parents' faces when you are moving out. I am so happy. Hey! David, this is a miracle. I'm so happy for him. I can't wait for him to come back home. Of course, he's still here. He'll come back. He's not going to sleep there now. So he'll surely come back. Immediately, I just left. He just left. Sure, like that. He will surely come back. He's not going to sleep there. Ah ah! So I went out and David went out. Too. Sure. Hey, God That boy is so handsome. Ujama, you young girls, you don't really move your eyes from these handsome men. You look at them, jump, 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 jump. You, Ujama, Mama, it's not a bad thing. Ah, someone can wish for anything they want in this life. After all, ask and shall be given to you. Me, I wish to marry somebody like this. A handsome man like him, a man that has more of grabinos, you know, a man that is, you know, at my be a very fed man. <laughs> Prof, you just have your head. Yeah! Like that. No, I want it. Why? Is she the one that we're going to marry her? After all, it's not, it's not David I'm talking, uh, I'm talking about. I just said I wish to marry somebody like him. I did not say David. I said somebody like him. You're asking me that question. Ijoma. 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 How much time did I call you? Good. Whoa. <laughs> How do you know this thing? I know this thing. <laughs> Wait a minute, let's turn it over and try it on again. Wow, that's wow. amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Um, thank you so much. Yeah. You already got them. Hello. Um, um, sorry, what's your name? Oh, my name is Sophia. How about you? Um, my name is Dr. David. Dr. David? Yeah. Okay, so what happened to you? Um, I just visited with you today. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to work at my dad's private visit. Oh, your dad is a medical doctor? Yes, doctor. Nice. Pretty good. <laughs> I guess your mom is a doctor as well. Not really, not really. My mom is a lecturer at the State University. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Professor Gloria. That's your mom? Yes. Oh my Professor god. Gloria, yes. Wow. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know. I would love to see you more. Actually, I don't know if I can tell you. Fine, my phone is in the car, but I can do it. I will just see my phone so you can just drop it again. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you. Yeah. Oh, boy. Don't forget to call me. Yeah. All right. Bye. 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 Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Hey! Oh, I'll keep their phone in the background. Hey! He's wealthy, man. Look at him, he's big bag. He doesn't know when I give him my hand. <sighs> Not that gym party that's always there to stop me up and down. Wakey. Huh? He's fine boy. Fine boy. <laughs> I'm like... New boyfriend, yeah. Oh. <laughs> mm. Mama, now that David is back on his feet, I think this is the right time to get a good job for myself. I can't wait for you to be gainfully employed, my daughter. Mama, I just need a good job so I can wipe away your tears. 
you surely have one. That's the truth. That's my prayer for you every day. To see that you have to become a housekeeper so you can take care of us. It's something I hold dear to my heart. Thank you so much. David. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. You, do you want something? Uh, not really. I just can't speak this way. Oh, okay. Is that all? That's all. Okay. I'll do my room. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that he's on his feet again. Perfect. Hey, Joma. Me too, I'm happy. Welcome, David. Thank you. How was work today? No, dear, no. It's my end already. Um, Miss Manasela, I want. My mother, no, she went to the market. Okay, I'm so hungry. I don't know if you can get me some No, that's not a problem. Let me get it. Okay, No, 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 I'm back home. I'm back home, I'm really tired. Hey, you need to rest though. I would have come to see you, but I understand that you're working and I know that you need to rest. Hmm, no, don't worry. I'll just um, shower and get to bed. Uh, what about you, do? How are you? Uh, I just went out to go and get some things at the plaza. Oh, okay. Thank you for today. 
一个人去放松。You're a beautiful lady. You're as beautiful as your heart. I know. Hey, she's here. Oh. You know, I've always had to say it like this for the longest of time. Yes, that's so sweet. Really? Yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Aj, hmm? I have something to say. What's that? My my parents asked me to bring my dear wife I want to marry. <laughs> yes, the woman I want to marry. Really? Yeah, and um, I want to go give her some money so that she could get some clothes and look good on that day. You want to go give her? Um, okay, she, she, she doesn't know. Oh, you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Come, um, congratulations to her. She's very lucky. <laughs> lucky to have you. I'll see you soon, okay? <laughs> 